into a video on my recently restored Nilfisk GA70 vacuum cleaner. Um, if you didn't know already, I got this from another collector. Um, it's in pretty alright condition. It's not in the best condition, but it is a, um, well, I think it's a six year old vacuum cleaner. So what we'll do first is we'll take a look at the tools and then we'll move on to the machine itself. So let me just push this back and let's have a look at the tools. So what we'll do, we'll work our way across. So here we have the two metal extension wands. wands. Um, this one's still a bit pitted um, here. Uh, these were completely covered in rust. They're now now nice and shiny. They're quite tall as well. Um, they're taller than Henry ones. These are so we've got the original ones. Actually, we'll put these over here. We've got the original um, woven hose. Um, it's all been glued back together. If you've watched the unboxing, this was all stuck in the machine. I found out how, how you take this out. Um, so it's all been glued back together with super glue and stuff, so that's nice and strong now. This end is um is an alright nick, although the kind of rubber um I don't even know what you call that, rubber kind of like boot or something, I don't know. But um it's kind of um it's cracking up where it's kind of um getting old as you probably can't see that. But um also, the other rubber band that was supposed to be around here wasn't present when I bought the machine. There's just a bit of string around there. So I've just um, put a cable tie on there just so that so it prevents that um, chrome handle from dropping out. So next we'll move on to the smaller tools. Here we have the floor tool that it came on with, or one of the ones. Um, I'm not sure if this is original, so... Um, any Nilfisk fans, could you tell me if that's an original floor tool? I'm not too sure. It's one of these flip up type with the um, thing on the back. It's not in the best condition. It's still a little bit dirty. I couldn't really clean it up much. Um, this is the best out of the two. This is. So I've cleaned that up as best I could. The crevice tool. Original crevice tool, I think. I'm not too sure. The ones I've seen don't have these colour tools. Um, but yeah, we've got the crevice tool, which is fine, apart from it's a bit oval, but it, if, with a bit of persuasion, it fits on that handle fine. So, yeah, we've got the upholstery tool, which I think is original, the same colour as these small tools. Um, but yeah, I think this is an original tool, because um, I think ones I've seen have this similar tool. Got a dusting brush which is very 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 soft um, very nice dusting brush this just plugs on there very nice to use um, I dusted my electronics with that yesterday here we've got the flat um, crevice tool which also can be used in conjunction with the radiator brush uh, which just goes on here it's a bit stiff there we go press it it goes on there like that and you can clean your radiators with that that's a little bit out of shape as well but that goes on there so it's fine and that's original because it's got the, the thing around it and I've seen those in videos now if you remember the cable had been chopped I fixed that with this junction box which I fitted this quite long black cable to uh, so it's got a little bit of um, I don't know how to describe it, it's like a greeny grey colour. Um, I've wired it into here and it's fine. Um, I did put a plug on there, I put this plug on to the end there. It worked alright, but it was like you couldn't even pull it away from the socket. So there's the attachments. Oh, excuse me. There's the attachments. I'll move these out of the way and we'll take a closer look at the vacuum itself. Here's the vacuum cleaner itself, um, it's in alright condition, um, I've polished it up, it's now nice, quite, quite nice and shiny. Uh, the clips are still a bit rusty, sadly the rust didn't come off on those, um, but you know, I'll leave that on there because it adds a bit of character to it. Um, 
you can see it's all been cleaned up um, and everything and it's all nice and sh well a bit more shiny than it was um, it was quite dull I used the Meguiar's what's it the NXT polish metal polish on this and it sprang it up quite nice um, the top is a bit um, weird the finish I'm not sure what's happening with that but I'm sure someone how knows how to get rid of this kind of weird finish because I don't so here's the top, this little plate comes off, it's got a knob you're missing from in there, but that really doesn't bother me to be fair. It makes a weird noise when it's on as well, because that ain't there, but that's where you put the hose in to do blowing. Um, the fan on the motor is literally under there, uh, the motor on this is reverse, um, a normal vacuum cleaner would suck through the fan first, whereas this sucks through the motor and then goes through the fan. Um, which it works fine. My, both of my celebrities work like that, and this works like that. So there's that. I have got the twin speed switch working. The little pipe inside um, came off. Uh, there's like a little valve in there. There's a little pipe that runs to the side under this housing somewhere, and there's one that runs to the motor. When you flick that, it goes bang and does, turns the speed up or down. Um, is the on-off switch on the back here? Here's the label on the back here of the cleaner. If we can get it there, so it's. Let me just read it to you. You could have paused there. Um, it's a Nilfisk type GAD, um, made in Denmark. It's double insulated and British Electrical Approvals Board certified or whatever. It's. Um, Number GAD-849878727, sorry, um, and it's 240 volt. It's 500 to 300 watts and BS3028, um, and I think it's 1958. Let me just pick this up quickly, see if we can focus it in. Where is it? Let's see it there. There you go, just under my nail there. 1958 so I'm not sure it might be 1958 um, the ones I've seen of these are from the 70s but I'm not too sure um, double insulated need not to be earthed Pat, Pat APP whatever that means Nilfis Limited and there's their old address in Slough um, so yeah it's pretty nice let's just undo these two clips on the side here take the lid off here's the motor um, section uh, it's all been cleaned this was really dusty when we took it apart first you see in there the little red um, joiner that's where I removed the suppressor uh, which wasn't blown but we just remove it just in case now the industrial versions of these have two of these motors or well I think I've seen three machine with three of these motors on them so that's quite cool here's the inside as you can see, the filter is now clipped up onto the little clips. Before, it was literally just dangling down in there. It was literally like that, which I, I which just went straight over my head. Let me just take this off for you, show you what it was like. It was literally hanging down like that. But it's meant to be, well, while I've got it down, I'll show you. I washed it. Um, it didn't come up too well because it's old and it's been used bagless over there. So... Yep, I found out that was clipped up there. Well, I knew, but I probably, well, I forgot because I haven't watched a video of one of these for ages. So, I found out about that. So, it's all been cleaned up. This has all been stripped, etc. Here's the tank. We've got the same bag as we fitted in the video. Uh, the inside didn't fare up too well. It's a bit cleaner than it was, but it's a bit rusty. We've got freshener in there, and then we've got the trolley underneath. Uh, which the wheels come off and everything so yeah it's all been cleaned up um, put the bag in I did use this this morning it's quite nice to use actually very very quiet vacuum cleaner um, just put the, the lid on like that. it's not on straight I'm a bit OCD like that I like the it's all to line up and everything so and then we put the motor on. 
Uh, goes there. That goes there. So there we go. So what we'll do now is we'll set this up and we'll um, vacuum the little area of my room with it. So let's. I'll be back in a minute. There we go, there was the little um, in action and after video of this Nilfish GA70 vacuum cleaner. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have please like and subscribe for more and of course bye.